Hello and welcome to the channel. Today on the bench we have my latest auction find, the beautiful HP 6299. The power supply has a range of 0 to 100 volts at 0.75 amps. It can go up to 120, but it won't fulfill its specs. On the front, there's a fuse holder, a power switch, uh, it doesn't seem to work quite right, a 10, 10, 10 turn pot for voltage, a fine and coarse current setting. The meter can show 0 to 12 volts, 0 to 120, 0.9 amps and 90 milliamps. The binding posts looks more modern than the original one. The design dates from 1965 and also the serial number indicates that it's revised in 1981 or something. In the rear, there's a big red box, which is the crowbar over voltage protection. It can be used as a system's power supply with um, strapping options to set voltages and currents. Someone's cut these off so it won't work as it is. Fortunately, I have the manual so I can wire it up as it should be. It's pretty small, size-wise it's about the same size as the Keysight 3461A, although a bit longer due to the crowbar protection and the heatsink. And here's the inside from the top. You can see date code on the power transistors here. Seems to be a 1982 date code, 81. Seems to be a pretty typical 70s design. As can be seen here, there is a trace cut off here, and one cut off here, and a bridge made here. That's the strapping for 230 volts. Before putting things together, I'll wipe off this with some IPA. 
There's some yellowing on this side, so maybe someone was smoking in the lab. Use the shorter replacement screws since uh, the, old, the other ones were longer and they touched the board. On the top, there is more space below the threads, so nothing to touch there. So we're getting ready to rock and roll. I've hooked it up to my isolation transformer, which is pretty nice when you're working on mains powered devices like this. Uh, it's also got a power switch because the power switch on the power supply was broken. I hooked it up to a DC electronic load. Also to my 344-61A. Let's turn it on. Seems to be something wrong with the meter. It's pretty steady, 9 volts. Fifty watts. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. A hundred volts and still no smoke. I think that's pretty much a success except for the meter movement. Let's wind the wick all the way up and see what happens, how far we get. Hundred and twenty and still some turns to go. Dose the meter switch with a lot of contact cleaner. And it seems to work now. This is 10 milliamps, 20, 30, and all the way up to 90. Wow.